Tomorrow morning, Dr. Farid Fata will learn whether he'll be spending the rest of his life in prison for administering unnecessary cancer treatments to hundreds of patients. We know it's going to be more than 30 years. The sentencing hearing lasted all week inside federal court with powerful statements from victims. They've told the judge Fata ruined their lives, subjecting them to painful chemotherapy treatments. Some of the strongest testimony has come from victims who received treatment even though they didn't have cancer. And joining us now is Melinda Toller, whose father was given chemo by Dr. Fata for more than two years after he was in remission. We are so sorry for your loss, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. What has this week been like for you down at court watching what's been unfolding? It has been horrific. Just hearing all of the victims' impact statements yesterday, it was like going to 22 funerals or 22 eulogies. So, so tell us what happened with your father. He was actually in remission for years, and Dr. Fata kept treating him with, with radiation and chemo both, or just chemo? Uh, chemotherapy, injections, hydrations, all medications that he did not need. That was like torture. Exactly. But you didn't find out that he didn't actually need them until after he'd passed away, correct? That is correct. When he passed away and Dr. Fata was arrested, we decided to have his medical records looked at. Um, we were a little bit at peace with the fact of knowing that at least he was one that did have cancer. But when we found out, when the medical yeah. expert went through the records and we found out that indeed in 2010 he was in remission, he was never told that. He never got the joy of knowing he beat cancer. Instead, Dr. Fata basically told him the opposite of that. Told him that the cancer was back with a vengeance and they'd have to do stronger treatments and more treatments. And um, eventually, he became so weak that he passed away in 2013. Right now, you're fighting to get your father's death certificate changed because his death, I assume, now is listed as uh, essential natural causes. Um, actually, at first, Dr. Fata would not signed the death certificate at all and this, the state came back and said he had to do that in order for us to get his life insurance policy and he came back and he wrote on it um, COPD which was a you know very a secondary disease, yeah. thing to what he actually had but he did not want to put cancer on the death certificate. So can you get it changed? We're not sure. We're looking into it. We'd, we'd like it to say that he died from toxic levels of chemotherapy that was unnecessary. Can you describe the level of betrayal that you feel? It's horrible. I, I mean, we're scared to go to doctors. It, you don't know who you can trust. I guess the only advice I can give to people is ask questions. Ask those questions. If you're uncomfortable, seek that second opinion, that third opinion. Um, one thing at, for sentencing tomorrow, um, I guess it's kind of up to the Attorney General's office that, you know, how that money is dispersed. And we are asking that it please go back to the, these victims and their families instead of going back to the government. It needs to go back to the people that suffered. So today the, uh, the, uh, the judge announced the sentence will be 30 years plus. We're not sure exactly how long past that point. Is that enough? I don't know that it will ever be and, enough. And what is the appropriate sentence if, if somebody asks you? Somebody asked me, um, somebody asked me this yesterday, and I'm not a mean person. I mean, people that know me know there's not a mean bone in my body, but I, I wish he could get chemotherapy every day for the rest of his life. That to me would be, you know, he should know what other people went through. It's a but power, life statement. would be good. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us again. Our, thank our you. condolences, and we're sorry for everything you've had to go through. Thank you. And your we'll dad. See. That was my dad. Yep. He was Santa Claus every day. <laughs> Wonderful. What a sweet face, too. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you.